With all the information I'm bombarded with on a daily basis, dance is an escape. All your emotions that you feel throughout the day, happy, sad, negative, whatever it is, all of it gets channeled into movement. As a teenager, social media is pretty toxic for body image and for mental health. They definitely create unrealistic expectations. I think expectations of body image are a form of misinformation. I want to go into something with psychology. I've always been the person to help, and I'll listen and understand and give you no judgment. My name is Ana Sesma. I'm a senior at Mill Creek High School in Georgia. It is now a tie to the tenth of a decimal point. There is one county that is outstanding, and that is Gwinnett County, north of Atlanta. Being here in Georgia, it's a lot more intense for politics and elections. With all these different political beliefs and everything, I'd say it's pretty important to know what news you're consuming. Bias, media, everything, it's, it's all crammed into one huge lump of a ball and it's really easy to get confused. Good morning, Anna. This year I'm taking a class called Media Lit. And what I want you guys to do is I want you to pull Checkology back up. And we do Checkology as our normal lessons. Checkology did help me look at the news a little bit differently. It definitely helped me get more technique on how to research things. Identifying bias, that's a skill that I'll keep consciously thinking of whenever I'm consuming anything. How do our own biases affect our perception of everything? When you start looking for opinion pieces, you'll need to try and find opinion pieces on both sides. Now, I'll take a look at a couple of the news sites or the news posts, and I'll go and look at other news accounts that I follow, and I'll be like, okay, what is the common information that all of them are saying? Tell me some of those info zones, like what, what have you found about that topic? I turned 18 at the beginning of the school year, and I did vote for the first time. It was exciting, because now I felt like my voice can be somewhat heard and a part of all these other millions of people who are voting. I would hope for people who are looking at any media that they take a second to critically think and take a second to say, what is the truth in this and what may be exaggerated? that I was News Literacy Project's Gwen Eiffel Student of the Year. I'm honored to be a part of this, to be able to have this opportunity because she's a woman of color and one of the first pioneers in this field. It was very surreal to realize like, oh, okay, I'm part of something much bigger than I thought it was. <laughs>